Hello. The following video contains a very important topic in biology, and this calls for our discussion to be based under genetics. But as we should understand, genetics is the study of inheritance, which is also called heredity among living organisms. There are certain characteristics that are being able to be inherited from parents onto the offsprings, and these could include height, skin color, blood group, gender, so on and so forth. So our discussion mainly for today will involve our focus to be based under blood groups, where we're going to talk about an exam question in preparation for the final exam. The question says, Gilbert with blood group A was accused of fathering Ruth's child whose blood group is B. If Ruth's blood group is O, A plots a genetic diagram to determine if Ruth's accusation was right or wrong. Before we start anything, we're firstly going to understand something which we need to know. And this thing we're going to understand that there are four types of blood groups. We're going to find blood group A. And this blood group A it's supposed to be understood as it is expressed as A with O. Remember, blood group O is a universal donor, meaning it can be able to give blood to any other type of a blood group, but it can only receive from blood group O itself. So then this is genetically expressed. Remember, under blood groups, the initials referred to in an exam are capital I, then we're going to put A, then we're also going to put that is O. If we have that is blood group B, we're going to find that this is supposed to be expressed as B, O, and then this is to be genetically expressed as I, B, then I, O. Then the other type of blood group we can be able to have is O, and this blood group is going to be O with another O, and then its expression genetically is going to be I, with O, then I, with O. Then the last one is blood group A, B, which is just A, B itself. And then this is going to be expressed as I, A, then with I, B. So this is what we need to know in order to answer the particular question that we had. So now we can have the question. So plot a genetic diagram to determine if Ruth's accusation was right or wrong. Remember, Gilbert has blood group A, and Ruth has blood group O. And then the child under this accusation has blood group B. So we are to plot a genetic diagram. And thereafter, we are to conclude depending on the outcome for the children. So then we're going to find that. The first thing we're going to start with, we're going to say phenotypes. Phenotypes of parent 1. So starting with phenotypes of parent 1, we can be able to have, that is, Gilbert. Then we are meeting with, that is, Ruth. Then we are going to follow with genotypes of parent 1. Genotypes of parent 1, we are going to talk about the blood group of Gilbert. And Gilbert is being able to have blood group A, which genetically should be expressed as IA, then IO. Then for Ruth, we're going to find that she has blood group O, which is IO, then I with another O. What's now going to follow are gametes. Or are going to say gametes of parent one. When writing gametes under genetics, what needs to be understood is that we're going to write these genotypes separately. So we're going to say A, I am then alone, then I O also alone. Then here we're going to say I O alone, then after a bit of space I O again. Then we can be able to cross over. So when crossing, we're going to find that the outcome for this one goes with the outcome for this one. So I A with I O, we're going to observe alphabet or alphabetical order I A, I O. Then this outcome. Will be able to come here which would be ia and also io then this one 
will be able to come here, which is IO, then IO, then also this outcome, which will be here, which is going to be IO, then IO also. Then we're going to find that these are genotypes of the first generation, which is also called the therio generation. So here we're going to find that Gilbert with blood group A was accused of fathering Ruth's child whose blood group is B. If Ruth's blood group is O, plot a genetic diagram to determine if Ruth's accusation was right or wrong. So I found that uh, Ruth's child had blood group B and there's no child with blood group B. So we're going to conclude. We're going to conclude by being able to say, therefore, Ruth's accusation was wrong. So this is Z, our answer. Now they are saying, which blood group is a universal recipient? Remember what I said in the beginning. I said the universal donor is blood group O. So the universal recipient is always the blood group A, B. This is a universal recipient. Keep believing in yourself. May Jehovah see your efforts through. And this is what we can be able to talk about, particularly meant for today. And always relate this to another exam to be relatable question in order to use the same concepts on how to plot a genetic diagram. But most importantly, you start with phenotypes of parent one, where you can get to name Gilbert and Ruth, or you can name their blood group, so blood group A, blood group O. Then genotypes of parent one, that means you have to show how to express this genetically. Blood group A is I with A as a power, I with O as a power. Blood group O in that direction also. Gametes of parent 1, you write the genotypes separately, IA, IO by leaving a space. Or if you do not want to circle, you can just leave a normal space. Same applies here. The first outcome here should cross with this one in order to be written here. The second outcome should be able to be written here. Then also the third and the fourth. Then since there is no child with blood group AB, who was the child under discussion? We're going to say, therefore, Ruth's accusation was wrong. Which blood group is an inverse recipient? So the answer is blood group A, B. This is what we need to know. Otherwise, keep believing in yourself.